Hey yo, what's going with y'all? It's your boy Slava getting back. And I just wanted to say thank y'all for 500 subscribers, you feel me? Some good shit. I love all of y'all. I appreciate y'all and all the support I'm getting from y'all. Some good shit. Our community growing. Now we on the road to a thousand, you feel me? So, yay. We on that path. But today in this video, we're going to be talking about Dr. Dre and his wife, you feel me? So, earlier in the year, Dr. Dre threatened to divorce his wife, Nicole Young. But then guess what? A couple days later, she actually filed for divorce from him. And... Here it is. She's asking for two million dollars a month to live from Dr. Dre. And the the expenses are laundry and cleaning ten thousand dollars a month. First of all, who needs that much for laundry and cleaning? That's cap. Clothes. $135,000 a month. She's just spending money for no reason. She apparently just buys designer clothes if you spend in that much money a month. Education, $60,000 a month. Ain't she like, like what? Well, ain't she, ain't she like the same age as him? She's still in school? What the hell? Entertainment, $900,000 a month. Bruh. 900,000 a month for entertainment. What are you doing? You getting performances from rappers? What, is that your entertainment? Like, what the hell? You getting personal performances? Charitable contributions, 125,000 a month. That's cap right there. She's not giving no 125,000 to no charity. She's lying. She just wants to make it look like she's doing some good shit. Mortgage a hundred thousand a month. What 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 mansion are you living in? What a ten bedroom mansion? What you need a hundred thousand a month for? Telephone, cell phone, and email for twenty thousand a month. What what how what phone costs twenty thousand a month? I want to know that right now. What phone do you guys know that costs $20,000 a month? That is crazy, bro. That is wild, bro. And then she said that they had a prenup, right? And a prenup is a document where you sign it and the man will be able to keep all his assets and then the woman will be able to keep all their assets so they don't have to split their assets, right? But then she is saying that Dr. Dre ripped up the prenup. How much sense does that make? Why would he rip up the prenup when he wants to keep his assets? What? So that's cap right there. And she acted like Dr. Dre forced her to do it. That's a lie. He did not force her to do that. It's either you sign it or you out the door. You know what I'm saying? Acted like he did some extra shit with her. And if you heard the recent news, she's trying to claim that he was mentally abusing her, physically abusing her, and financially abusing her. You see, the financial part... I could tell that's automatic cap right there because Dr. Dre is literally a billionaire. So that's impossible. What is she talking about? Lies. Straight up lies. And mental and physical abuse. If you was getting mentally and physically abused by him on a regular basis, then why didn't you divorce him years ago? Why didn't you divorce him years ago? Because she stayed with him for the money. 
Y'all see what I'm seeing, right? She stayed with him for the money, the power, and the status, bro. That's what she stayed with him for. You will not go through all of that abuse just because, oh, he's a billionaire. No, doesn't matter. Throw his ass in jail if he's hitting you. But no, guess what? Dr. Dre didn't do nothing to her. And Dr. Dre said himself, 30 years ago, he was involved with a conflict with a female. He had put hands on a female, but it wasn't her. And she brought it up. Like, it was actually her that got abused. So it's like, bro. Bro, what the hell is going on, bro? She's just desperate and trying her hardest to try to get some money. Literally. Trying her hardest to try to get some money. This is a clear example of that. Because she's just throwing information out of nowhere. And saying, oh, Dr. Dre did this, Dr. Dre did that. No, you're capping, you're lying. He did not do none of that. Dr. Dre is a chill-ass dude. He's not over here abusing you every day. Like, she making it seem like it's happening. Like, come on, son. You know, get, the, get the hell out of here. Who, the, does she really think people are gonna believe her, bro? Like, yo... <laughs> And I'm pretty sure they've been married for like 25 years. You know what I'm saying? That's a long ass time. And she's also getting hit with another charge. Where they're saying that she was doing embezzlement. Which means that she was trying to take funds from one of Dr. Dre's businesses on the low key. So he wouldn't notice it. So now, now her story is getting messed up. And now she's going to be the one that's getting in trouble. Because she wants her to be stupid. Like, yo. <laughs> all, all I'm telling y'all. Once you get into a marriage, right? Don't, 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 don't mess with people like this. Dudes or females that are like this. Do not mess with them like this. For real. If you could see early signs of them acting like that and acting like they're entitled to your money and entitled to everything that you have, even though they did not help you with none of that, they didn't help you build up none of your money, none of that, you should, you should leave them automatically. Stay 50 feet away from them because those are the people that will be your downfall in the long run. I can promise you that. I could promise you that. You know what I'm saying? But this 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 is this situation is just hilarious, bro. Hilarious. How it's starting to come out, bro. Cause it's it's just it's, it's hilarious to see her try her hardest to <laughs> to try to get some money from him. And and like this this spousal support thing that she's trying to hit him with. No, you're not getting no money from him. Stop trying. Stop trying. You're not getting no money for no spousal support. Get the hell out of here. You, you don't got no job? By, by the looks of it, it seems like she doesn't have a job. You know what I'm saying? So that's why she's trying to get so much money from him. So she could live a lavish lifestyle even after the fact they got divorced. This is a problem, bro. This is a problem. Like, literally, bro. It's just a... So <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. And, and, and shit like this is make, is what makes me be like, yo. Should I really get married, bro? Because you never know what girl could do this to you. You never know, bro. Like, for real. I bet you at first she was a chill-ass female that looked like she was good, chilling. You know what I'm saying? But then now, like 25 years later, she's trying to divorce him and take almost half of all of his money and his assets. Like, bro, you're bugging. You're bugging. Hell no. You're bugging the fuck out. Chill out. <laughs> but hey, let me know what y'all think about this situation down in the comments down below. You think she's bugging or not? Nah? You know what I'm saying? I feel like she's bugging the hell out. But... 
Make sure y'all like the video, subscribe if you do. It's been your boy Slot Bucket. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace of Trons.